Okay, hi guys, uh, Steve Crew from Fulling Mill here. Um, just going to show you how to tie one of our new 2023 patterns. This is a Rob Edmonds bead head snake. So, most snake flies that we do are either unweighted or a bead chain on. These have got a 3.3 mil uh, tungsten bead at the head. So, whereas most snakes you can fish quite slow, this one you actually tend to fish quite fast, and that. Um, Tungsten bead head gives the fly a really sort of exaggerated movement. So I'll show you how to tie it. So the hook we're going to use is the new Fulling Mill Competition Heavyweight Barbless in a size 10. And I'm going to use the bronze version. So stick the hook in the vise. And then as with all snakes, the first thing we need to do is attach the link between the two hooks. So the best way I know to do it is with the knotless knot. Uh, I see guys trying to attach braid to the rear hook with all sorts of weird and wonderful ways. This is the way that the carp boys attach braid to hooks. It definitely works better than almost anything else I've seen. So and it's really easy. So I'll show you how to do it. So you just hold the braid on top of the hook shank and wind it down over itself, you know, 10, 12, 15 times. Something like that. Then you poke the tag end up through the eye of the hook. Wrap it around your finger, just pull it tight. That is going absolutely nowhere. It's really slim. Um, it's definitely the best way to do it. Okay, so just touch the super glue. Just make sure nothing slips. And then we <coughs> Just cut off the tag end there and just cut that down so it's a little bit more manageable. Okay, all right. So now we need to just attach our tie-in thread. So I'm gonna use um, a chartreuse. Uh, in fact, no, I'm not. I'm gonna use white, if I can find some white. So I like the, um, the tie-in thread at the back to match the Zonka color. So we just touch it there. Okay. So if you keep your um, thread long enough, this bit of braid just flips round and round as you make your turns and you don't get too tangled up. Okay. So run this down in touching turns. Okay. And stop. If you had a hook barb on the hook, it'd be somewhere halfway between hook barb and hook point. So the uh, main part of the fly is zonka strip. So this is the new fully mill uh, white zonka strip. This is in the standard thickness. Um, and to tie this in, you want to try and get as close to the end of the leather as possible. Um, just with a little bit of fur sticking out as well. So. If you just wet it ever so slightly, it will make it behave a little bit better for you. So we just drop that in there and then use, I don't know, four or five tight turns of thread to fix that in place. Okay. You don't want to go too far back when you're tying this in, because if you do, the zonka will point downwards, which just looks a little bit ugly. So then take your thread and wind in open turns up towards the, the head there. So then this is just prime time, just to add a little bit more security, just use the fully mill super glue. If you apply a little bit of this to the top of the thread, the uh, zonka sticks to it, just makes it or a little bit more secure. Okay. So then pull that over and it will, that super glue will make that zonka stick to the top of the hook shank there. So again, just separate the, uh, the fur from the leather, just moisten it just ever so slightly 
and then just try and tie in just a bare piece of leather there and just do that nice and secure again with a few turns of thread okay if you do it correctly you almost can't see apart from uh, the little dents in the leather but you almost can't see where you tied it in okay so fold that back and now we just do a quick quick finish it's probably easier to do this with your hands and with a tool with the braid sticking out the front so I just do a little quick three turn whip finish okay so that is nice and secure so then uh, all I would do now is I would just apply some super glue to the thread wraps at the bottom of that rear hook um, and then that is that rear hook finish so I'll just apply a little bit of super glue on there now and then we'll move on to the uh, to the front hook of this fly okay okay right so just take that out one thing to do first as well thread the uh, thread the bead on so that's a fulling mill 3.2 mil tungsten bead just thread that onto the braid okay so now we put the our next hook in it's the same as the rear hook just a uh, it doesn't really matter what the front hook is because we're going to cut the bend off anyway but that is a uh, fully mill competition heavyweight barbless um, right so what we need to do first is just to try and hook this bead on okay so we've hooked the bead um, onto the hook we've got the braid coming through it as well just wet the braid there just get it down through the eye of the hook just like so and then push it back through the bead okay right so we want this fly here to be um, five centimeters long so I'm just going to measure this quickly and get this roughly right so it's from the front of the uh, eye of the front hook to the rear of the rear hook it needs to be five centimeters so I'm going to get that roughly right and I'm just going to attach my thread um, and I'm going to switch back to a chartreuse thread now just going to attach my thread there a few loosest turns I'm just going to make sure that this is still correct so it's shortened up a little bit to squidge it down All right that's five centimeters now so now we want to properly secure this braid so just flip that out of the way so just bind this down take the tag end of the braid wind it back up and catch that in tie it down Still got my tag end of thread there. Okay, so I would just add a little touch of super glue at this point, just make sure it's all nice and secure. Then just pull that straight and then just take your tie and silk down. Okay, I've uh, you probably if you've watched any of my other videos on how to tie snakes the trick with tying the zonka in is you pull the braid tight and you have the zonka under no tension and you just drop it in on top there okay 
once you're happy with how it's sitting we can tie it in Let's attach it with some nice secure turns of thread just like so okay so then we remove the waist with your scissors and then I just bind that down okay Let me just check that yep I'm happy with how that's all sitting okay so your next stage is we just want to fill up that gap a little bit there where we've tied the zonker in I'm going to use some uh, fulling mill ice hackle um, new product for us for 2023 so it's just quite good for filling this gap in where we tied the zonker in. So just attach a small piece of this. Probably just take a couple of turns. Okay. So we just apply a couple of turns. It just fills that gap there up quite nicely tie that off just remove the waste bees and then the fly is finished and um, this is just some of the fully mill tactical microflash dub in uh, chartreuse just need a little tiny pinch of this almost enough just for a turn and we can brush it back into the uh, ice hackle as well okay so just apply a little bit of super glue to our thread and then we just whip finish just hold everything back Okay. So I mean that is effectively the the fly finished. If you wanted to, uh, you could leave that front hook on. I actually like to remove it, um, so I use a pair of pliers and just chop the uh, hook bend off of this front hook. So just push that in. Hold the uh, the bend of the hook. If you don't, it will go pinging absolutely everywhere. And then we just snip that off. Okay. And that there is the finished Rob Edmonds beadhead snake in a cat's whisker colour. <laughs>